Well, ahoy hoy, and welcome back to On The Bench, where this week we have something a little bit different. And the little bit different part isn't just because this is a Mickey Mouse watch, it's because of where we're going to go with this review once we've actually looked at the watch itself. So please do stay tuned for that one, because I'd be really interested to know if you think the same as I do by the time we get to the end of this review. I usually start off these videos with the watch back in its presentation box it arrived in, but for the life of me, I cannot see what I've done with the boxes came in. So apologies, it's just the watch itself uh, this week, but you're genuinely not missing anything. It was a flat black cardboard box. I don't think there was any Disney embossing even on it. It's certainly not a presentation box anyway. So this week it's purely the watch itself. And the watch itself, as you can see, is an adult Mickey Mouse watch, which had been around for decades. This being a model that was released, I believe, last year and uh, still available today uh, from any online store that you can care to find them. in. if you type in Mickey Mouse watch, I think you'll find one of these uh, with relative ease. Price wise, these are 30 odd pounds, so not not hugely cheap for what they are. What that would equate to in dollars if it was a direct conversion, that would be about 50 bucks. Let's have a closer look at this particular Mickey. On the top we have a no particular name generic crystal glass on the top. It is it is crystal. I, for a moment when I took it out of the box I thought that it would be plastic, but it is distinctly cold to the touch when it's on the cheek, so I do believe them when they say it's mineral crystal. We have this very peculiar gold fanned sunburst face, which we're going to come back to in a little bit. Mickey obviously, as is traditional, is in the middle with his hands uh, pointing out the minutes and the hours. We have a red ticking second hand. The movement is a no-name Japanese quartz. It is hacking though. When we pull this out, we can stop the second hand just to add a little bit more accuracy when we're setting the time. The case is very much an art deco number, which follows with the general overall theme of the watch with this step bezel on the outside. On the side we have some screws on the straps, but these are these are purely decorative, it's part of the actual case. Uh, the case itself is chromed, no-name metal, I doubt it's steel, if it is, it's, it's very, very light and thin type that they're using. The back gives us a little bit of information on the watch itself, it is a licensed Disney product made by eWatch Factory, uh, assembled in China. No water rating stated on it, and I can't find a water rating anywhere for this watch, which suggests to me it's zero. I don't think I'd be too confident even taking this out in the rain, never mind washing up with it or wearing it in the shower, so I would keep this out of water. Our strap proudly proclaims genuine leather made in China. Uh, again, surprising, it's, it's very plasticky in how it feels. Uh, I think it's most likely a leather underlayer with a plastic uplayer. Though this could be leather as well, but I doubt it. And the, certainly the pattern that's on it is faux grain. It's been stamped on there. It's not going to be alligator or ostrich or something at this price, but it doesn't do the watch any detriment really when it comes to uh, how it looks. And in terms of sizing, it's quite a sizable watch. It's 43 and a half across, but only 11 millimeters high, which means it is small enough to wear under a cuff shirt, I found. And I do wear this with a suit. I've put this on a couple of times with one as I do like dressing down when it comes to what I'm wearing my wrist if I am wearing a suit because I find you'll always find somebody with a nicer watch than you when you're dressed up or going to an event somewhere so I quite like dressing down and this does actually fit the bill and there it is very briefly it's a it's a Mickey watch it's a standard Disney watch isn't it isn't it well no I don't think it is at all and this is where we're about to go off on a bit of a tangent here. While I talk about my feelings for this watch and what I think it represents, and I'm not a happy bunny to say the least, but let me explain why. And before I do that, I'd like to state that what comes next is purely my opinion to which I'm entitled, which you might not agree with, but perhaps you might. And I believe that this watch is a monstrosity. And here's why. Now, to test my theory and check I'd not just flagged down a cab and headed to Weird Street, I gave this watch to my other half and asked them to take a look at it and tell me what they thought. 
Now, initially, they looked at me like I'd lost my mind because they know full well that I know they have absolutely no interest in, in watches, uh, apart from how much I spend on them, probably. Uh, but they did acquiesce in the end, and they, they took it in hand, they had a look at it, and eventually they shrugged and said, well, it looks like it was made in China. And that was all the validation I needed, really, to know that I was on the right track and make this video. Because it's my belief that this watch was not only made in China, and it was, it says so on the back that it is assembled in China, but I believe this watch was made for China. So let's take another look at it. Look at this eastern fanned golden sunburst that's on the dial. Look at the absolutely oriental font that's been chosen for the numbers. Even the hue on Mickey's skin is nowhere near its usual bright whiteness. This watch is Chinese. But then it's not. It's not a Chinese release. This is one of a few standard Western Mickey watches available at present. Yes, it's manufactured under license from eWatch Factory, but this has been signed off by Disney. This is not accidental. It's not part of a multiple national or cultural themed release of watches from this supplier. There's not one for France where Mickey's wearing a beret, a striped shirt and a string of onions. Nor is there a German one where Mickey has a funny moustache. This is a stand-alone item. Well, what's wrong with it being a standalone Chinese orientated watch, you can ask? And the answer to that I give is that a Mickey watch has always been as American as apple pie or baseball or talking too loudly in restaurants while on holiday in Europe. It, it embodied the American dream and the, the innocence of childhood and wholesome family entertainment. Evinced by adults like me today still buying a Mickey watch as a reminder of the pleasure they used to derive from Disney's wonderful tales when they were a child. But not anymore. Because for the last several years now, Disney has been courting the CCP like the world's richest simp showering favours on their favourite OnlyFans model in the desperate hope that if they just throw enough cash and gifts at them, they may allow them to meet them in real life. And just like said OnlyFans model, China's been laughing all the way to the bank while having absolutely none of it. And what exactly has Disney done in China recently? Well, they miniaturised or removed John Boyega, an actor of colour, from their Chinese Star Wars movie posters. They did. Not China. Disney. And in the credits to the live-action adaptation of Mulan, uh, a film no Western audience particularly asked for, I don't think, they thanked eight government bodies, eight, in the Zhangjing province linked to Chinese concentration camps. And now their desperate chasing of the Chinese market has even spread to their watch line. An item which, if someone were to wear one of these in the wrong company of China, may lead to them being invited for a chat without coffee, at the local re-education centre, this watch is a travesty of everything it used to stand for. Meanwhile, back at home in the USA, Disney Incorporated is galloping along Woke Avenue as far as Pluto can carry them, virtue signalling through a megaphone with one hand while flicking the bird with the other at the very thing that made them what they are, the thing that's walked hand in hand with them for the past decades, and that's that's the American nuclear family. Disney should be ashamed of this latest piece of kowtowing. But they won't be. And they won't be because the people now behind the wheel of the company are drunkenly joyriding full speed towards a brick wall because they hate its heritage and the values it used to hold dear. And if you voice a concern with that, well, you're clearly in the wrong. Not them. Now, after all of that, what do I think of the watch itself? Well, 
being honest, I think it's one of the worst quality Mickey watches, if not the worst quality one I've ever owned or I've ever come across. Yes, the overall aesthetic works, but it's so cheaply made. It's got a crystal with it, which is nice, but the metal feels so thin, so cheap. When you turn it over and tap it, you can hear how thin this is. I don't think there's any water resistance rating to it at all. Disney isn't even printed straight, it's slightly askew. The writing down here is askew as well. The whole feel of this is a watch that is liable to break very, very easily. But credit where credit's due, it hasn't actually broken on me yet. And I've worn this quite a few times now though. So perhaps brownie points need to be awarded there for the fact that it has actually surpassed my expectations. I would say that other Mickey watches would be turning in their grave with this absolute monstrosity of a watch, but that wouldn't be accurate because Mickey watches from the 50s, 60s, 70s are still working absolutely fine and ticking away today. This thing, I doubt, is going to be working that far in the future. Now, what do you think, either about the watch itself or what I think it stands for and why it's been made like this? Do you think I've joined the Tinfoil Hat Society? Or in the worlds of Harry Simeone, do you see what I see? Let me know in the comments below. As ever, I've been Jim. I would always appreciate a like or subscribe. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks. And until then, do take care.